Good afternoon. You're watching Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, February 10th, and we're excited to have with us in the studio T Rex to see. Take it away whenever you're ready. Hey, everybody. I think we're going to take off here. <laughs> about a lunch lady.
this one. It's about a crush. A long time ago crush. Long time ago. It's funny though, cause um, this person this song is about is actually my arch nemesis. <laughs> you wouldn't know that though, from the song. <laughs> okay. Audio Tree Live with T Rex to see. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Awesome, oh. you sound awesome. Um, so right now you're on tour with Leggy. That's you're right. on yeah. the final leg of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice. I was gonna say awesome. Leggy. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? It's great. Leggy's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's also great too to be on tour with like any band because like every time you see them play, it's better. Like you know more of their words and like you can dance more because you know their songs better. Yeah, it's great. You become their number one fan. Yeah, true. Yeah. Before we went on tour with Leggy, everyone always said, "Oh, they're the nicest," and like <laughs> yeah. we're like, "Okay, like," but but it's true. They are. They're yeah. just the nicest. Yeah, that's our, that's awesome. Um, and a lot of you took off spring semester of school to do this. True. Yes. That is yes. True. <laughs> That's awesome. Normally, uh, I go to Oberlin College. So does Lyris. As do I. Yeah, what, what, yeah where do you go? Well, here? I was going to say, we're not an Oberlin band. Yeah, I go to Grinnell College. <laughs> I am not in college. Same here. The real troopers are, like, yeah, Reggie and M, who like, are real musicians who don't go to college. <laughs> yeah, no, you're all real musicians. <laughs> what are your majors at, at school? Um, I am a studio art major. Ooh. Oh. Gender, sexuality, and feminist studies. Sick. I do that too, but also computer science. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice combo. Very cool. And yeah, so you mentioned art. I know that art's like a big part of your guys' image. Um, and I wanted to know more about like what visual art plays, like what role that plays in your life. And I know that especially the music video that you guys have f out features a lot of visual art. And I just want to hear more about that. Yeah, well, like, one thing that's great about being a band called t rex to see is there's a lot of, like, <laughs> artistic potential with all the dinosaurs. Um, and oh, also, yeah. like, everyone in our band uh, who has been, is in our band, is, like, a really good visual artist. Um, like, a Boone, who usually drums for us but is in school right now, like, Lino prints all of our merch and, like, wow. yeah, it's... Also, and, our like, new drummer, Reggie, shirt. also, like, helped us design our new tote bags, like... Yeah, so like True. everybody, it's like nice. part of the requisites for being here is you have to be a good artist, but it just happens by chance. Vera actually. makes comics. 
Yeah. We, it also, what's fun about being in a band, it's like you make music, but it's also just an excuse to like make art and like trick all your fans into thinking that your art is like, <laughs> like somehow cooler because you're part of a band. <laughs> yeah. You just made like a 50 cent pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. I, I love the art that you guys put out. And um, speaking of your dinosaur aesthetic, um, your album Jurassic Punk is out and has been out um, since last May on Father Daughter Records and Miscreant Records. And it's awesome. Definitely a great of 2016. So thank oh. you for that. Oh, thank, you. Well, thank you. Yeah, so do you have any plans for, for new music? You know. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, actually. We <laughs> want to like drop a sophomore album on the world that will just like blow people's minds <laughs> um we don't know like i think we're trying to hit the studio in like a mm. may 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 yeah yeah we nice. take a long time to cook but like we're cooking oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we have a new song that we're going to play today nice actually. stick around <laughs> can't wait yeah it's like a slow cooker yes yeah <laughs> crock pot Got yes and all the spices yeah soak it up oh yeah very good all right well let's hear that new song shall we Take it away. Oh, give me a second. Sorry. Just you enjoying that. This song is um about. Do you want to say what it's about, Louis? Wanting to be a baby. <laughs> you know, we've been touring with it, and we've gotten mixed reviews on. Uh, not the song. Everyone loves the song, but whether or not people want to be babies. Yeah, like when we play bars, we're like, "Hey, who out there wants to be a baby?" And there's just silence. <laughs> like, but then we, when right? we play in like teenagers' basements, they're like, "Yeah, yeah." Colleges. People want to be babies at college. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, little baby, I wish I could be like you. Hey, little baby, I wish I could be you.
is our hit single from the 90s. Audio Tree Live with T-Rex to see. So, you guys formed in New York City. Mostly, you guys live there, <laughs> yes. except for the Ohio college students. But your family's based there. I want to know a little bit more about that and how growing up in New York City was, because I imagine it, especially in the Upper East Side, to be like Gossip Girl. <laughs> well, we're not all from the Upper East Side. <laughs> Yeah, tell me more about growing up in New York City and going to high school, becoming a band in high school, all about that. I guess I, the, the most, like, across the board thing I can say is growing up in New York, like, definitely exposed me and all of us to a lot of, like, music stuff. Like, I was in, like, a crazy children's choir for 10 years, <laughs> and, like, we all went, well, they went to a different high school, but I went to performing arts high school. We also went to performing arts A different one, school. but so, like, there's lots of, like programs and like public things in New York City that make it possible to like learn music and to perform music. Yeah. Which is cool. <laughs> I think that like going to like New York City public school like that has like specializations brings you like close to a lot of people who want to do what you want to do. Like 
when me and Lyris like became friends, like junior year, like we were in this performing arts school, everyone's acting and like Lyris wanted to be in a band. And I was like, oh my God, like this is the person, you know? And I feel like we were both there because like we both wanted to perform and do things. And that brought us into the same place at the same time, which was awesome. Yeah, me and Annie became friends because we were having an argument over a Beatles song. Yeah, it was it, the fixing a hole. Lyrics didn't think it existed as a song. Yeah, but it does because Sgt. Pepper's was the only album that I didn't ever know, and I was like, well, if I don't know that song, you know, it just must not exist. <laughs> <laughs> but it totally does. That's adorable. <laughs> One more thing about New York that's great that I think we owe this band to you a lot is Willie Mae Rock Camp for Girls, which I got the shirt on right now. <laughs> Um, Hell yeah. So the our original drummer and original guitarist, I, I think the drummer learned how to play the drums there, and then the guitarist also had gone there. And it's just like a rock camp for girls and non-binary youth in New York City, and it's really awesome. Um, and I am sh- bet you anything you wouldn't be here today without them. Yeah, absolutely. That's sweet. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I wish we had that in Chicago. They're actually like... Uh, girls rock camps are like all over the country and right. I think maybe even over the world yeah. I don't know but yeah, yeah. Willie Mae is like um, specific to New York sweet yeah it's there's the lots of girls ever. rock yeah, yeah. The, that we like fundraise for in Chicago and stuff there you yeah go. very cool so yeah how did you guys obviously you guys discussed in school you want to become a band you know that you want to start a band how did you guys all come together and meet to like become <laughs> T-Rex to see well it wasn't mutual with Lyris originally. She, like, wanted to start a band with these two, like, amazing girls who went to Beacon High School, Lena, um, who's our original guitarist, and A. Boone, who's our drummer, uh, who's in school right now. Um, and I was like, I want in. Please, please, I'll learn <laughs> bass. I'll do whatever you ask. <laughs> Just let me into the band. I was like, yeah. I mean, like, it's punk rock. Like, but then... How, like, the Ramones learned and stuff. But then I was I was hanging out with Annie one day. I hadn't seen her in a while, and she told me about this band that Lears was starting. I was like, "Get me in the band, Annie! You gotta get me in!" And there was already a guitar, so and a bass, so I played the other guitar. Um, and more recently, our um, like two of our members decided that they wanted to be in school this semester when we wanted to take off. So we found some new people to join yes. us on this leg of our journey, and we found them from the internet, yeah. literally wow. Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. It's True. a new world. Yeah. yeah, my friend, I honestly had not even heard of T-Rex to see before. <laughs> <laughs> my friend sent me, you guys put out a tweet for an ad for a drummer. And my friend was like, you know what? Like, I think you'd be into this. And I was like, you know what, Tim, you're right. Like, I wouldn't be into it. Yeah. So I slid into the DMs. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and I, I saw the, it's weird because I was, I had been talking about how I wanted to go on tour and no one I was playing in bands with really wanted to tour. And then I was scrolling through my Facebook <laughs> and as I was scrolling, I like stopped scrolling and it stopped immediately on this ad that they had like put out. And I was wow. like, oh, like I have to do it. Destiny. Yeah. Kiss me. That's great. <laughs> and so Reggie and M, you guys live in New York City as well now. Yeah, right yeah. now. I'm yeah. originally from Ohio, though. Great. Yeah, and I'm from Orange County, California. Oh. So wow. Fresh New York member. Great. Yeah. Same. Great. Well, I'm sure they're happy to have you. I'm, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm also wondering how you guys got into, like, the New York City DIY scene. Oh, and, yeah. like, you know, when... Do you remember the first show that you went to where you were like, this is my place? <laughs> I do. <laughs> when I first moved there, uh, my friend told me to go to Shea Stadium in Brooklyn, and a band I really like, Washer, was playing there, and I'd wanted to see them for a long time, but they were never like on the West Coast. Yeah. So I went to that show, and then I was like, I have to be here all the time. So I started interning there. Wow. And all the people there are very cool, and you should go to shows there, too, <laughs> if you live in New York. I think Shea Sadin was like our first show with like a kind of famous. We played a played a show at Shea Sadin with Frankie, Frankie Cosmos, Cosmos a couple years yeah. ago, and Name drop. I love playing that place because like no matter who you are, like what like what level your band is, people that are so nice to you, and like the show is great. It's a great like location, um, and so I think also Shea Sadin for me like made me want to like continue because there are other. It can be hard, you know, like in New York City, such a big city. Like where do you, where's your place? But I feel like. Places like Shea Stadium make me want to keep playing shows in New York. Yeah, yeah like, I, 
our first show when we played at Chase Stadium, like I really didn't know about DIY, like or <laughs> anything. I was really just completely somewhere else. And we went and played, and we we're like little babies, you know. We have our exes, and like I was so scared, and I could barely play bass. But like, I it was such like a like exciting, like intense environment, and there are all these people who were really excited. Um, and I got on stage, and I was like, okay, like this is like you know, this is how it should feel to like play in a band and like be a musician and. I'm grateful for that space. Yeah, uh, and like th- literally like how we got that that big like first show was just sending an email of like the like two songs that we <laughs> recorded on an iPhone, like they're still up on the internet, like you can listen to them, but like you can't really hear what's going on with them. Um, just kidding, I love lo-fi. Um, <laughs> but like seriously, like I just feel like the, D- like the DIY scene, like places like Shea Stadium are just like really great because I feel like, I feel like you can really, like, you think that you can't do things. You think that, oh, I can't play music. Like, particularly if, like, if you're of certain identities. But, like, you totally can. Like, you can do it. And, like, yeah. Like, places like Shea Stadium, like, yeah. really enable that. I think they're built on, like, community more so than, like, just the art. Yeah. And so that, like, makes people think that it's, like, oh, I can also do this and participate in this. And it's just, like, a very welcoming environment. And they're just very down to like hear out whatever you have to say through music or weird performance art or whatever. They got a ton of <laughs> weird stuff there, but super inspirational yeah. place. Yeah, you're painting a really beautiful picture for me, yeah. and now I want to go. Go to Shea Stadium. Yeah, go. <laughs> cool. Well, you guys can roll into your next song whenever you're ready. All right. Cool. Okay, okay. Someone's gotta tell that guy that 
that Dr. Bronner just doesn't work in toothpaste. What about peppermint, Vera? No, no, Annie, not even the peppermint one. Note taken. You know, I always say one thing. I always say one thing, and one thing only. I thought we'd never be over I thought that one of these boys become like a just a nice nice blogger and it would Wesley in or maybe Sarah Lawrence not leave to find themselves in the goddamn forest so we could get here beyond follow all the things we do saw these spent 7,000 bucks in farming in Peru I think it looked real smart in that wild and tribal way at your best I really suit you you're fishy with all care Thanks for having us, Audio Thank Tree. You. Thanks, Peggy, for chatting to us. Thank from you. Over there. <laughs> Thanks to all out there who's listening. <laughs> I am not a piece of food. 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 <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That was awesome. I have one last question before we close this out. Your music is super colorful, super reminiscent of a cartoon. <laughs> so I'm wondering if you could write the theme song of any cartoon out there, what would you choose? Steven, Steven Universe. Universe. <laughs> is that a unanimous thing or just they talk no. about this all the time? <laughs> you know what? A Boone and Lena are on this train too. I know if they're watching, they're supporting this. <laughs> That's great. Okay, cute. <laughs> Lyris, do you agree with that? I feel like there's SpongeBob <laughs> descent. SpongeBob. <laughs> yes, love that. Well, like I said, they're on tour right now with Leggy. You can see them tonight downstairs at Subterranean. 
You can also see them tomorrow at the Peanut Gallery for the Cool Girl Show. And also you can grab their record, Jurassic Punk. It's out now on Father Daughter Records and Miscreant Records. So yeah, thank you guys for coming. Thanks to everyone in the studio, to the sound engineers, to the camera and lighting crew, and to the viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can shout out to your ecstasy or us on social media if you like saying hey. And you can support them by downloading this session when it comes out in a couple weeks. We look forward to it. So thank you so much for viewing. See you next week. Thank you very much, everybody.